Hello. In this video, we will see how to evaluate numerical derivatives in uh, Python, particularly using the function numpy.gradient. And uh, in this video, we will limit ourselves to the 1D case. Let's say we have an array x which starts at 0 and ends at 6 in steps of 1. And i is the index of the array and uh, x is the value of the array. And let's assume we have a function f of x equal to x square. So if we want to take the derivative of this, the usual anal analytical way is to take uh, dftx equal to 2x. So what does numpy.gradient function do? For the points which are in the interior of the domain, that is the points from 1 to 5. So for this, central difference scheme is used to evaluate the derivative and for the boundary points, uh, forward difference scheme and uh, backward difference, difference scheme respectively for the first and last element last points are used so what does that mean for the interior point let us say we have we consider x equal to 2 so which corresponds to this point and uh, if you want, were to evaluate derivative here using the numpy gradient function what it does is it takes f of xi plus dx minus f of xi minus dx by 2 times dx where dx is the step length so this turns out to be f of 3 minus f of 1 divided by this length which is 2x which happens to be 9 minus 1 by 2 equal to 4 and analytically we can again evaluate uh, df by dx is 2x and at x equal to 2 we'll have 4 so as you can see the numerical derivative obtained this way for the interior point matches exactly with the analytical derivative in this case in the example we have seen and what about the boundary points on the left boundary so let's say we have we consider x equal to 0 and uh, analytic derivative is anyway 2x it turns out to be 0 and numerically since there are no points towards the left of the point under consideration that is uh, this boundary point so here forward difference scheme is used f of xi plus dx minus f of xi divided by 1 dx since this is the length uh, we are uh, taking the difference across so this turns out to be function value at 1 minus function value of at 0 by 1 which is uh, 1 minus 0 by 1 which is 1 so here you realize that the analytical answer is 0 but uh, our numerical answer is close to 0 but not quite there so that is the error, error which we encounter and likewise if we are talking about the right end right boundary point so x equal to 6 here since there are no points towards the right of this we can only use backward difference scheme uh, to evaluate the derivative so here it is f of xi minus f of xi minus dx divided by 1 dx this length so that turns out to be f of 6 minus f of pi by 2 which turns out to be 11 and uh, analytic derivative at this point is 2x equal to 2 times 6 is equal to 12 again we see that our analytic and numeric derivatives don't match and there is a bit of an error and what happens if you reduce the grid size so instead of grid size of 1 let's let's say we take a smaller grid size of uh, 0.25 so again i is the index of my array and x goes from 0 to 6 in steps of 0 0.25 now 0 0 0.25 0 0.5 and so on up to 6 and likewise function value our function remains same uh, f of x is x square evaluated at these points so we will see the three cases again for the interior point central difference scheme is used so let's say we consider x equal to 0 0.25 so this is the, in the interior of our domain and uh, using this central difference scheme we have function value at 0 0.5 minus 0 divided by 2 times dx which is this length and dx is now 0 0.25 so we divide by 2 times 0 0.25 uh, which turns out to be 0 0.5 and uh, analytic derivative here is again 2x equal to 2 times 0 0.25 which is 0 0.5 which matches exactly and uh, if you see the boundary point again we use the forward difference scheme f of 0 0.25 minus f of 0 by 1 times dx which is 0 0.25 and that is numeric derivative is uh, 0 0.25 and uh, analytic derivative is anyway 0 again 
our analytic and numeric derivatives are not equal so there is an error which we encounter but as you see if you compare with our uh, earlier uh, example with grid size 1 we see that the error has reduced considerably so 0 0.25 is much closer to 0 than 1 and for the other boundary on the right uh, on the extreme right of this domain we again use the backward difference scheme since there are no points on the right f of 6 minus f of 5.75 divided by 1 times dx so which turns out to be 11.75 and analytic derivative is 12 these are pretty close earlier when we were using the grid size dx equal to 1 we were obtaining this as 11 reducing grid size has increased the accuracy now we can check this in the code so we can just uh, import numpy as np and uh, let's see the case of grid size dx equal to 1 first we'll define an array x uh, which goes from 0 to 6 in steps of 1 and then we'll define a function f of x fx equal to x square and uh, this is the syntax np dot gradient the array which uh, which is your which holds your function values and the second parameter is the step length dx step size so so we see on the boundaries we are obtaining 1 and 11 instead of 0 and uh, all right we can actually we can see the analytic derivative as well 2x so on the boundaries we are obtaining 1 instead of 0 and 11 instead of 12 but in the interior points it matches well with the analytic answer and one more thing to note is that the default step step size is 1 so if you don't specify the step size here you will still get the same answer but uh, most often that would not be the case and it is better to retain the second parameter as well we can also see the case for uh, step size 0.25 for the case of x equal to 0.25 our numerical derivative is 0.5 and uh, analytic derivative is also 0.5 on the left boundary that is the very first point at x equal to 0 analytic derivative is 0 but uh, numpy gradient gives out 0 0.25 as a result and uh, on the right boundary at x equal to 6 analytic uh, analytic derivative is 12 but uh, the numeric derivative is perhaps 11.75 uh, Yeah, that is what we have seen earlier as well. So that is what goes behind np dot gradient function as far as one dimensional derivatives are concerned. Hope this was useful. See you next time. Bye.